Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. John 6.51 What did Jesus mean by this? Jesus also said, Of a truth I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. John 6, 53-56 We first must find out what it was that Jesus himself fed upon. What was his bread? During his temptation in the wilderness, Satan is documented as offering Jesus three temptations. The first temptation was to command that these stones become bread. Matthew 4, 3 the setting of this temptation was that Jesus was forty days into a fast, and he was obviously hungry. Jesus' response to this temptation was, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4 4. Jesus here quotes from Deuteronomy 8.3, And Yahweh humbled you, and let you be hungry, and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know that he might make, you know that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of Yahweh. Jesus stated what his food was. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. John 4.34 Jesus, then, obviously saw the words and will of God as being much more important than tangible. Edible food! A bit later, Jesus specifies whose will he was doing. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. John 6.38 The salvation plan was further given in light of this. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day, John 6, 39 and 40. That everyone who looks on the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life? Why is this so? Jesus plainly stated, Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. John 14, 24. Within Jesus and through His words, we learn of what God the Father's will is for us. Jesus also said, For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. Mark 3.35 Hearing Jesus and his teachings is therefore of utmost importance. As Jesus said, My food is to do the will of him of who sent me. So we, too, must do the will of the Father. Jesus, as the perfect representation and spokesperson of God in his nature, speaks to us in these last days. Long ago, at many times and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets, but in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2 To eat the flesh of Jesus and drink his blood is to do the will of God. As one partakes of the Lord's Supper or communion, they are remembering the sacrifice Jesus made. 1 Corinthians 11, 23 through 26, and are also restating their desire and intention to follow the will of God, the one of whom Jesus himself stated clearly, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The bread of life is Jesus. Yet, it was Jesus' food to do the will of his Father in heaven. It was in this way that Jesus could be said to have come down from heaven, John 6, 38. The Word of God certainly did come down from heaven and flowed through Jesus, God's last prophet, a prophet like Moses. Acts 7, 35-37. It was through this man, Jesus, that God would proclaim his words to the world. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. If believers are to consume this bread from heaven, as Jesus did, they too must do the will of God.